Convicted serial killer Todd Culhab back in court today in a hearing for a wrongful death lawsuit filed by families of some of his victims, some of whom were in court today. 7 News' Tatiana Cash live outside the Spartanburg County Courthouse with the very latest. Tatiana. That's right. Good afternoon, Fred. So what I can tell you is we got out of court a little after 10 a.m. this morning, and while there were many tears and heartfelt stories that were shared about the victims, uh, Scott Ponder's wife, former wife, rather, I should say, his widow, uh, Melissa Brock Brackman, says it's time that they continued their lives. Now, when it comes to Colep, he had to sit in court and listen to those stories, and many of the victims stared him deep in the eyes as they explained these things. Now, Melissa Brackman, along with Scott Ponder Jr., Joanne Shiflett, and Charles Carver, who were all witnesses in the damages case against Colep, Brackman and her son Scott Jr. spoke about Scott Ponder, their love for him, and the sadness of him being taken away so soon and not being able to see his now 15 year old son. They also spoke about Beverly Guy, who was Scott's mother, who Colep had also killed. Now, Shiflett and Carver spoke about their son, Charles David Carver, and Shiflett said Colep had taken her best friend away. Now, while both Shiflett and Carver did say they don't hate him, only Brackman and Scott Jr. said that they forgave him. Now, I got a chance to speak with them after the hearing and ask them why they chose forgiveness. It's been about a year that it finally hit me that I'm over, I'm over playing the victim. I'm over the sob story. I'm over. We're in this process um, a lot further than the Carver family, than you know everybody else has been affected. Um, it's time. It's time. Now, Brackman did say with more so of a smile, and she was actually rather happy, both she and Scott Jr. were in better spirits. And what they, what she said to me is the fact that uh, Colab actually did apologize as she walked past him. In Spartanburg, Tatiana Cash, 7 News. All right, Tatiana, thank you.